Hi guys. So let's see how we can solve this particular question. We have a circle which has a radius of root 5 and its center is at the coordinates 4, 3. So it's important to note that the general form this is our part A. The general form of an equation is given by x minus h in brackets squared plus y minus k in brackets squared and everything is equal to r squared. So our first, our first question says, prove that the equation of a circle is given by this expression here. So it's important to note that the center, the center is given by h comma k, of which in this case we've been told that the center is 4 comma 3. So this simply means that the value of h is 4 and the value of k is 3. So this is what we're going to do. We're going to say x minus from the standard general formula. So we'll have x minus h. Remember that our h is 4. So 4 in brackets squared plus y minus k. Remember our k is 3. So y minus 3 squared. We have been told that the radius is root 5. So here with this r, we'll replace it with root 5. But remember r is squared. That's what we have. So the next thing is just to expand these two, then we'll see how it can reduce to, to that expression. So what we we'll have here is we have x minus 4 multiplying with x minus 4. And here we have y minus 3 multiplying with y minus 3. On this side, the square root and the square root just cancel, leaving us with 5. So x times x, we get x squared plus x times 4, we get minus 4x. 4 times x, we get minus 4x. And last to negative 4, negative 4, we get plus 16. y times y will give us y squared. y times 3 will give us minus 3y. 3 times y, minus 3y. And lastly, negative 3, negative 3 will give us a positive 9. And remember, everything is equal to, to 5. Okay. Then from there, what we can do is, we can simply say, well, group like terms, we have x squared, x squared like that. Let's put our y squared as well. So x, we have negative 4, negative 4, hence we get negative 8x. For y, we have uh, negative 3, negative 3, so we get minus uh, 6y like that. Then for the constants, we have... Uh, 16 and 9, we put them together, what we get will be 25. Remember, everything is equal to 5. So in our last step, we're simply going to say x squared plus y squared minus 8x minus 6y plus 25 minus 5 is equal to 0. So x squared plus y squared minus 8x minus 6y plus 20 is equals to zero. So this shows the equation that we're looking for, which is this one here. Okay. I hope that's straightforward. For the next question, we've been told that uh, the line, which is this line here, is a tangent to the circle. Find the coordinates where the line L touches C. So if this line, uh, let me just write it here y is equals to 2x. If this line is touching the circle, remember that the circle has the equation that we've just uh, proven, which is this one here. So if this line that we're talking about, which is a tangent, has uh, these two are meeting, it means that for us to find the coordinates of the point where they're meeting, we're simply going to solve these uh, two simultaneously. To do that, we're going to say, so this is our part B, let's just start from here. We already have the tangent, which is this one, which has already been made the subject of the formula for y. So here where there's y, we're going to substitute it with a 2x, the same equation with the tangent. In simple terms, like I said, we're solving these two equations simultaneously to find the coordinates where they meet. So I'm going to say x squared plus, here where there's y, I'll substitute it with this. So here where there's y, I'll put 2x in brackets, squared minus 8x minus 6, where there's y again, I'll put it to x, plus 20, everything is equal to, to 0. 
Then from there, we can uh, just simplify and solve the quadratic equation. So we have x squared plus, this will give us 4x squared minus 8x. This will give us minus 12x plus 20 is equal to, to 0. From there, we can have it as uh, 5x squared minus 20x plus 20 is equals to, to zero. Let's reduce this quadratic equation by dividing throughout by five. So if we divide this by five, we remain with x squared. We divide this by five, we remain with four x. Divide this by five, we remain with a four, and everything is equals to, to zero. So now, from this equation, let's solve, uh, let's solve it. Since it's a quadratic equation, let's solve it. We have x squared minus four x plus four is equals to zero. So the product, is 4 and the sum is negative 4. I'm just using factorization method. So two numbers such that we multiply them, we get a 4, we add them, we get negative 2, sorry, negative uh, 4. The two numbers will be negative 2 and negative 2. Multiplied 4, added negative 4. So we can proceed by saying x squared minus 2x minus 2x plus 4 is equal to 0. If you look at what we have here, where well, we can factor out x, we remain with x minus 2, minus, if you look at what we have there, 2 is common, we remain with x minus 2, it goes to 0. So we have x minus 2, x minus 2, and everything is equal to 0. So you can see that this is just the same value that we're going to get here, hence the value of x is equal to 2, it's just the same coordinate. Now, we have the value of x, which is 2, we can easily find the value of y by substituting here. Hence, since y the line of the, uh, the equation of the tangent is 2x. Here where there's x, we replace it with the 2, hence y is equals to 4, 2 times 2. This means that at the point 2 comma 4, this is where the line, uh, or rather the tangent meets the circle. So this is the coordinate we're looking for. I hope that makes sense. Thank you very much.